Huh, there's, it takes like a solid like 30 seconds for this thing to start. I actually start recording. All right, cool. It's working. I'm on D&D for sure uh, on Skype. Um, and all right. I'll probably start. Game music. All right. Oh, shit. shit. All right, guys. Puka back here for yet another cast here. Um, I'm here with my awesome buddy Box here. How are you doing, man? Uh, decent. Pretty decent. Yeah, no, um, dude, I'm doing good, man. He is the uh, one co-caster that um, I personally know. He's not uh, super active within the Brood War community, but um, yeah, he's, he's a fun time. He's a fun time. Very fun time. Yeah, did, okay, so um, this is D-Ranks. So what, this is the D-Ranks all kill, all kill um, oh, King of Thrones, excuse me, um, box. Do you know what that is? No, I am not familiar. So, this is game one. Um, so, pretty much what happened, um, what this is, is pretty much um, Mama Her is the guy that runs this tournament. And then it's just kind of like King of the Hill style, really. It's like, so you'll, it's just best of ones, and then you continue to play different players until you get knocked off your throne, pretty much. Yep. Pretty much how it goes down. Um, now, for Mama Her, he's been, he's been, you know, fairly active in D rank stuff, you know, organizing stuff like that participating in teams and stuff um and and then two um which is gonna be in the bottom left hand corner is a white for us and then the top left hand corner as um 216 will be our uh red for us so um i'm actually recasting this game from like i i want to say a month ago box because like i cast so much brood war at, at certain times of the of at certain times it's like it's kind of ridiculous the um, amount of like local videos I have on my computer that <laughs> in my channel. It's just ridiculous. Pulling up your computer. Like on the like, have you ever used Xplit before? Yeah. So the you know like the local recording file like folder. Yep. I have like a solid like 500 videos in there. That's <laughs> eh, a little bit much. Cause I like, I, cause I I don't cause all like my test videos are in there and all the. Oh, and the problem is I'm afraid to delete any um, because I'm like, well, there might be a cast in there, but then I never go back and look. Um, now, Mama Her is going for... Did you grab the gas? So probably we'll be going some... Uh, we'll probably be going Quick Goon um, versus the two gate that we do have. I mean, sorry, Mama Her is going for the two gate. Um, 216 is actually opting to go for more of a cyber core opening. Um, does, does decide to go for the first zealot first, though? Um, so he should be you know, slightly in a better position than trying to just go for the quicker cyber core. Yeah, oh, yeah. I, re I really don't see why he would delay his cyber core, though. Um, it's kind of like preference in PvP. It's so you can defend against early pressure because, especially with the two gate coming in, um, you want to have as many units out as possible. Because goons can, I mean, you can kite. You, I mean, obviously you can kite with um, zealots with goons, but you don't get you don't get a ton of goons there very quickly, and goons don't really do a ton of damage to zealots, especially because they have 160 HP. Um, they take forever to kill in the early game, and they're really annoying. And then spending all the day PM trying to just like start a step backwards is really annoying. So from what I'm seeing, I was taking gas. Uh, I was thinking he might go let's say like a two game to expand, maybe be a little bit greedy, but this looks like he's going that. And you see a shield battery, I'm not real sure. Is he trying to be real defensive? Maybe Probably. tech up into something very high tech, like kind of Stargate or, uh, or Robo. You know, you know what, you know what uh, Mama Her could be doing. Do you remember that build that we, we that we did that kind of funky that funky like webcam thingy? Do you remember that? Do you remember that video that we did on Fear Boxer? Um, the build. I don't remember the build. I remember doing the webcam thing specifically yes. yeah um if you guys don't know what we're talking about we did a video back where we cut where we split we like showed like first person um views of both both players and kind of swapping from there kind of fun but it took so much editing we couldn't do it again but uh it was a ton of fun but pretty much what i was trying to say is um um i did like a three gate just mass zealot push with a with, with oh, a quick speed yep. Um, which killed Box, but that was Protoss versus Terran. Um, and that was Protoss, obviously. So, um, we'll see if the shield battery will come out. I mean, I don't... With the shield battery, we'll see how... Really, how 216 will hold. Um, this is looking 
very scary though, the army values are just way off the charts. Yeah, and he kind of like just broke through the wall. Yeah, he, he would need to have that shield battery within range to continue to keep his build alive, but um, 216 is in a lot of trouble right here because he's not really being able to stutter stuff very effectively with his goons right now, um, which is not going to be perfect for him. Um, and he's not in that shield battery. He still has energy left on it. Can he get a shot off um, or use it? But he's not. Four goons are out, but, I mean, two of which are just really low on HP. And one getting surrounded at the same time on the left. We'll be using the shield battery to deal with that. Uh, looks like he's gonna probably gonna lose that other goon to the right. Uh, he's probably gonna lose those two goons unless he goes perfectly. Now it looks like he just plots another one. Um, he'll either expand behind this or just keep flooding the zealots. It looks like he's just gonna go mass aggressive. He might go zealot speed, so it just looks like he wants to end it now. Yeah, and he just lost every single goon. Um, he's gonna have to drone drill, but he's gonna have to lose. He's gonna lose stuff in the process of doing that for sure. Uh, which is really, really quite unfortunate. Man, the just losses are just piling up right now. My god. Oh yeah. He, no, he's not going speed. He's going Templar Archives. Um, I'm not really sure if he's trying to go. Maybe Archon? Oh, really I just sure need to pause this for a second, like box. If you don't mind. There's one thing I need to quickly do. I can edit this part out, don't worry. Okay. Um, there's one thing that's kind of it's paranoying me right now that um, that my Brood War may crash um, because I didn't change one setting in Brood War yet, um, which is set affinity. Yep, there we go. All right, cool. All right, do you want to start in three, two? One. All right. So, yeah. What are you saying? I was pretty much saying that these are just significant losses. I don't know how they would come back from this, but from the looks of it, he just got a massive pro bleed, mama hurt, and pretty much if he just expands by this or does some big tech play, he can just you know out either power or out macro his opponent, but. Right now, it doesn't look like he's really expanding right now. He really could just take that advantage. He's throwing on a Templar Archives right now. Um, he's just going to fall with DTs. Oh, that's just sneaky. That's just mean. Oh, uh, but he already has the Forge down, though, so he might be able to get a cannon if he knows about this as he's peculiar to pressure right now um, despite, well, pretty much all he really can do, I guess, at this point. So he's just going to see what if he can try to return the favor of getting probe kills, but... Uh, um, really what can happen is at this point you can do a cute move where you can actually just put two DTs in whole position where the goons can't even get through. So then you're pretty much just safe from that um, entirely until he gets obstuck out. But I mean the amount of goons that he's producing right now is just... I mean he's not even mining gas right now so he's not going to have any kind of obstuck um, early. And yeah there's the DT if he just holds position in the center of the ramp those goons can't get through. Yeah it looks like you're just going to be offensive with it. Um... Does, does he even have Dragoon range? I wasn't really paying attention to him. He looks like he's just halfway done with it, so... I mean, if uh, 216 just, you know, migrates this correctly, he could probably just, you know, pick it off. But I think he's too afraid of those DTs. He has one cannon up. Um, not sure if he's got... Yeah, he's got a second one coming up, so he might be safe from the DTs, but... He's still behind from all those Zealot kills, and... Um, he's just gonna be contained by these DTs. Oh, rad. I also like to point out, though, that Mamaher is still really far ahead. I mean, he's still up. He has like 800 minerals just not spent yet. <laughs> so, he, he, could be, he could be making so many units out of his um, gateways right now. Um, but that two cannons are gonna be going to be a nuisance, but I mean, DT's in the main base, can't won't cover everything, so he might be able to get that end of the gateway um, with one at yeah. least. Nah, it looks like... Uh, nope, nope. Yeah, nope. Range just barely really in range. Down, and we do have it a follow like up. He, between. Is, he is putting up that DT in the middle of the ramp, though, so he's definitely trying to just contain him really well here. Like you, want, you, want to, you want to pressure me? Well, no. <laughs> no. And then, yeah, you'll see the robo in response to this, but I mean, 
the amount of damage that I mean the contain is just gonna be so powerful. I mean I mean just look at the unit comparison. I mean there's what eight goons no seven goons compared to I mean three goons and three zealots. I mean those goons could probably actually kill off that army, but because of the DT play, um, it's just gonna he can't push out right now. And by the time that expand by the time really that obs comes out, it's gonna Mommer is gonna be in such a position that his economy is going to be twice of which his opponent is, and then, you know, eight gateways over four, just do the math. I mean, the one thing that I'm thinking of is how he's going to get rid of those cannons. I mean, it's pretty... They have such a long range, and also the fact that they're in those really nice spots that can be a little bit difficult to deal with that, especially when he doesn't have a lot of range units. Um, so, the only thing he can do is just contain, get his economy up, and then just overwhelm him, but it's going to take a long time for that to happen, so. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's got a little bit of a cushion here. He's just getting the Observer Observatory. Um, he's trying to get, let's see, he just got his third gateway up, and we'll just have to see what happens if he can push out of this with uh, that Max Dragoon, or if he'll just, uh, you know, crumble. He is getting plus one though, so I mean, if he does have the upgrade advance, I'm not really sure. It doesn't look like Mama here even has a forge yet. He's just getting one. It's about almost halfway, so um, I, th I think could... two, I think two sixteen is probably going to gear up for like a just try to power his way through and just try to go for the counter push and kill. Probably. I mean, that's what it looks like. It doesn't look like he's really saving up his money for expansion. Well, he kind of is, but. I think it's um, just because of poor macro. I mean, it looks like, yeah, he's tuning up, so he's definitely not going for, say, like, expand behind this. He really just wants to get out of here and try to put on the pressure. But, um, if Mama here just put, like, a can cannon or two up, he'd totally thwart this and just make this into a uh, back and forth game here. Hmm. It doesn't really look like he's putting up cannons. He's just too busy trying to get his army back home, maybe back her up a little bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, and he sends up the obs too, which is a pretty big deal. Um, huge deal, actually, because these DTs now. Oh, well, if he does decide to make DTs, which um, he's not making right now, but if he win DTs all of a sudden, he could actually just kill off this army again and just recontain. And as you can see, there's still no followed up expo right now by 216, sadly. Yeah, it seems like he's really stuck to the Dragoon thing. He's just getting some Zelts, however, he's been really favoring the Dragoons, which I don't really see why. He doesn't have the units to soak up for the Dragoons to do their full damage. Hmm. And you'll have to retreat back up that ramp now and just be completely defensive. And... He has a shuttle. Um, and I'm wondering... Okay, yeah, so he has support bay and he's getting, um, two Reavers and he's gonna get a shuttle speed with this, so... Um, he's just going to try to break through with Reavers, um, because really otherwise it's not going to be feasible. Like you said, cans are in a really good position. Um, goons generally, though, are, you know, kill off cans really quickly. But, I mean, just getting up that ramp um, with the high ground advantage that um, 216 has, it's just going to be ridiculous. And he wouldn't want to throw away all of his units, like I did uh, yesterday um, um, against you in uh, StarCraft. Um. Oh, no. <laughs> We have some goon on goon battles here, but I'm thinking there's actually a higher goon count now for uh, Mama Her at this point. And he may just get another um, ob snipe too. Oh yeah. no. I mean, we may yeah, not have DTs, but it's just another option that's av av available to him. He does have the nice concave up top, though. If he just keeps this whole position, you could definitely, you know, just try to hold it off. But oh yeah, yeah. This like is actually really. Kinda... This is a huge mistake for uh, Mama Her to go in there right now. There's no point. Dance back and forth right now. Um, he does also have the plus ones. So he does have an upgrade advantage, and it's just going to be a little while before he mama here has his. It's maybe about like 10, 15 seconds away. So he's still got this little window of time for upgrade advantage. I would like to see what what I would think from uh, 216 is actually like trying to sneak an expansion off, maybe like top right or something like that, instead of just taking this contain that well I mean I don't I don't see why he just doesn't try it I mean you can't just sit and try to be contained the whole time and try to like push out that way you can probably like you can get away with that stuff sometimes so I don't see why he didn't try to go for that 
but it seems like he's content on going uh, Reaver Shuttle trying to push out again, but if he even saw that Mama Her as an expansion, he'd probably be a little bit worried right now. Oh yeah. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Hmm. Um, he's gonna try to get his own two Reavers, but I mean, he already has two, two Reavers of his own. He can use the OBS or Shuttle to spot for the high, high ground. Oh, oh he's, he's kind of clumping up right now for those Reavers. But it seems like the Reaver shots aren't getting all the way up. Uh, um, high ground advantage really does help. There is one DT in there, so he could sneak in some good slices from what I'm seeing right now. And he also has vision of the high ground because of that DT, so... It's actually called Warp Blades Box, you should probably learn that term. Warp Blades? Yeah, you know, that attack move, not, not, not slicing. Oh, I'm so... Yeah. But, um, I mean, like... Yeah, he's definitely pushing in here. He would probably be able to snipe off the forge and a pylon. Um, he just looks like he's getting the full contain. He does have a reaver, though, so he might be able to do some damage. But yeah, that reaver in the back is going to be annoying, but with the two reavers trailing behind, I don't think it matters. You do have a third base in the bottom right-hand corner for Mama Her. Mama Her is just kind of playing this really, really well. Um, can't... He probably, he probably could oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Look! Oh! Look at the middle right! Oh, oh, no! Oh! That is a painful thing to watch. One of them, like, all the approach are stacked for a minute, I, I, um, and I thought um, they would have all died. Um, nice reaver control though from uh, 216, but it's not enough. It's just not enough. I don't reaver. Know, it looks like he's holding off his first push here. Uh oh, what is that? He's held it off. Look at that beautiful defense then. But I mean, what does he have left? Oh. I mean, his economy's in shambles here. Um, he doesn't have any economy to fall back on, and his food count is very low compared to Mama Hers. He's got triple the, triple the food of 216, so it's looking very, very dire for him right now. Yeah, I, I wouldn't want to be 216 at this point in time. Um, yeah, and it kind of goes back to the fact that uh, that DT, man, that DT. Too much damage. And the two gate. That Mama Her opened with. Um, well, GG for both players. So, you know, obviously game two is obviously available. This was at, uh, you know, a post later date, obviously. So, I don't really remember what happens. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah. So, Box, any closing words or are you good to go? Um, I would say definitely just try to definitely expand that's number one key i mean you can't just put it off that long or you know just put it off at all you definitely have to try something um but i did see the fact that he did try something didn't quite work out i guess he just wasn't scouting enough so scout and expand bam that was the uh that was the box tip of the game right there all right all right guys thanks for watching peace hope you guys like the new overlay experience it's pretty awesome in my opinion all right peace guys experience oh that was fun that was fun you know what's really cool about youtube